Sunday evening, we are going to be making some dinner with some of the low carb products that we got in the mail the other day. And tonight we are going to be making a recipe that we saw on another YouTube channel. Um, so anyway, these are low carb gnocchi and we're gonna put tomato sauce on them. Connor's gonna help me make these. Drop the cheese. Cup and a half of grated Parmesan cheese. Next is one cup of low carb all purpose flour. And mix these two ingredients together. Okay, we've made a little bit of a well in the middle of the cheese and flour. Then we're going to add three egg yolks. Just the yolks, you never want the yolks. Unless you need it later on in the recipe. And then we're going to add one cup of regatta cheese. You can also use goat cheese. We didn't have any goat cheese, so we're using regatta. And then finally, eight ounces of cream cheese. We softened it a little bit. Now what you gotta do is get your hands in there and get a little bit messy. It's a little bit messy. The dough is very sticky. Very sticky. So the dough is too wet. I think we might need to just do two eggs next time. We're trying. They're not looking so good. Hopefully they will cook and they'll turn out pretty good and not fall apart when they go into the boiling water. Oh, by the way, Garrett's here to help us now. Yep. Garrett is making giant gnocchi. Those aren't even mine. Those are Connor's. Why not? That one's mine and that one's mine. He only made two, I made the rest of them. See? Not too big. Why did you make giant yonky? Why is he making baby yonky? That's my real question. That looks like a goldfish. <laughs> We're testing one right now and it came to the top. It actually has held together. You're welcome. Hey, I made it, I should eat it. Yeah, About 10 seconds on the surface, and then we'll pull it and see if it actually works. Stop eating all the dough, Garrett. Stop eating it. It'll take so Ah! It's not working. Oh no. Well, it wasn't. Fail. It wasn't Here's the leftover mess. So Garrett and Connor are putting the Yonkies in the freezer downstairs because the first one fell apart. And maybe if they're frozen before we put them in the water, it'll be a little bit better. Um, actually, it didn't fall apart. The cheese, all that cheese in there just melted. So, uh, don't know. Tomorrow, maybe? So in the meantime... We got pizza, because we're lazy. <laughs> it's frozen pizza time. You're making Chick-fil-A sauce for your pizza. Yeah, there's low carb dinner tonight. Not really. It's not been a good weekend for low carb. Right before our trip to Florida. <sighs> it's Monday, the day after we made these homemade low carb gnocchis. And we put them in the freezer last night. I'm going to try it again tonight for dinner. If it fails, we're going to move on to pasta. So, keep our fingers crossed. Here we go. Dropped it in. I don't know, it's floating. But, it looks like it's trying to fall apart again. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, it's mush. I don't think it's gonna work. 
Well, I tried it and uh, it's pretty disgusting. So on to plan B. So I just threw a bag of low carb fettuccine pasta into this water. This is a brand that we've never tried. It actually has less carbohydrates than the other one that we eat, which is the carbonata, which we really like. It has a good flavor. Not quite sure what this is going to taste like, but we'll give it a whirl. And this one is called Impostable Low Carb Pasta. Thin Slim Foods. In case you're wondering why we're trying different pasta brands, um, the uh, carbonata has soy in it. We try to avoid soy whenever we can because uh, it's not real good for you, especially if you eat it in large quantities. I'll give us another minute or two. It smells like real pasta. Well, these noodles taste pretty good, but they're falling apart and they kind of have a weird texture to them. So, I don't know. These are behind the carbonata noodles so far, as far as uh, overall satisfaction goes. So, I got Connor's room primered yesterday and today I taped off the wall walls and I'm getting ready to paint the ceiling probably gonna only put one coat on it and then uh, hopefully before we leave for Florida and get the walls painted at least one coat we'll see Come on. I want to eat it so tonight we're gonna do a taste testing of some of the candies that we got at Hershey's chocolate world the other day and uh, we got three different ones, different flavors that we've never seen before. So we're all gonna try it. And what are we gonna start with, guys? The Hershey's candy corn. Gonna, yeah, candy, corn. candy corn. All right, Hershey's candy, candy, corn. candy corn is first. Yep, Dad, here you go. You got it. Okay. Just white chocolate or dark? Oh, pretty white chocolate. It's upside down. I oh, know it's not. Never mind. So it looks like it has candy corn niblets. Well, in first, it. it's a challenge to just open so it's good for you the diet it's like it feels weird oh, they melted it smells wonderful it smells like a candle should i don't it's, know if i should eat this oh. it smells weird it smells like a candle it tastes like a candle too <laughs> <laughs> this this tastes just like mm. harry potter world <gasps> yeah harry potter world um, Butterbeer fudge. Yes. This is what it used to taste like before they messed the, mm. with the formula. Hmm. Tastes exactly like it. And they did ch change the formula because I have insider information. She's and special. they told me so. Yeah. Delish. Just so like I told you it would be. That's good. It doesn't taste like candy corns though. <laughs> it doesn't taste like candy corn at all. It's delicious. Love it. It's mine. That's a good tasting oh, Thank you. Okay. No, no, I put some pink at the other bit of chocolate. That's not really the thing to go for. It's more fudgy, butter, butter. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. We got Reese's mini cups with white chocolate and outside. It, and it looks like it's been opened. It hasn't. It hasn't. It hasn't been opened. No, no that, has not. that has not happened. So we're going to open it. All right. <laughs> oh, good job. <laughs> All right. You get two. You get one, one and is. you get one. Okay. Yet again, white chocolate with yes. a peanut center. Mm. It doesn't want to focus, but that's what they look mm. like. They're little bite sized things. It's delicious. I am the Reese's King and I approve. They're, they're good. They're good. He they inherited taste. that from his mother. They taste exactly like, like the, the regular Hershey ones. No, they do not. They do too. The you you need to let it sit on your palate to enjoy the flavor of the white chocolate, and then bite. All right, what's next? It tastes just like a Hershey. I mean, a uh, Reese's cup. Yeah, they buy exactly favorite like. Twizzlers. Nobody Yay. likes Twizzlers. I like Twizzlers. All right, Twizzlers. Okay. If you're 60, you might like the Twizzler. Thank you. Take that as a compliment because that so means you're Connor, tell us what these are. Right, so these are um, green apple flavored Twizzlers. Show the people. You know what, Garrett? You show them. So this is green apple flavored Twizzlers with the weird caramel middle. Caramel apple. 
Let's see, does it look like the picture on the front? Mm -hmm. Kind of. Yeah. It sure does. I have my doubts. Mm, I think it's going to be delicious. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be weird. I think my kidney is the best. Mm. Mm, smells good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it tastes weird. It stinks. Mm. It smells funny. I don't know if I, I want to eat it. I like the center, but I don't like the Twizzler. Yeah, the center's good. Twizzler's not. Mm. Mm. You could drink it, just drink out of it like a straw. If it was a liquid. It's so much liquid. Maybe we should have let them melt in our car. This is actually not bad. It stinks, but it actually tastes pretty good. The caramel's good. Mm -hmm. The Twizzler, okay. it's okay. It it's sort of softer. tastes artificial. It's softer than those red ones. Yeah. You're opening it? I am. I'm opening it. Oh, let me find it. Where is it? Up oh, there we go. Here. Right there. I don't know if it'll focus, but it's a mite, maybe? Well, where my thumb is, it says artificially flavored. Oh, imagine that. I thought it was real apples. <laughs> so that's what it looks like inside of one of those things, in case anybody it wants it. looks like it, it the looks larva. Like, uh, I was getting ready to say, it looks like you dissected some kind of, like, caterpillar or something. I was going to say, it looks like that little, ki the kids in feet where you, like, uh, put the little peanut butter inside the celery sticks oh, with the raisins. That. It's called ant, uh, ant uh, uh -huh. Yeah. I'll just eat the caramel out of it. It looks like one of those larvas that you would dig out of a tree somewhere and you mm. just, like, dissected it, yeah. open it up. Mm. Okay, bedtime. All right, guys. Insect guts. Now for the final one. Wait, we have another one? No. We don't have another one. Yes, we do. Well, we know what that tastes like. It tastes like a Reese's cup. <laughs> All right, go ahead and open it. Yeah. It's like Christmas. It's like Christmas. Bad <laughs> <At> Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Connor wants to show everybody these Reese's cups. <laughs> one of the biggest Reese's cups on the planet. It's the world's largest Reese's cups. Are you sure it's the world's largest? Mm -hmm. no, I don't think so. That's how they're advertised. Pretty large. Right, let's get the knife. The way we're eating it. We will cut it in like a pizza pie. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was going to cut it like in fourths and then everybody takes a quarter. That's right. I mean, if you guys are so good at math, sweetheart, you must be home school. <coughs> So we should bring these down to Halloween Horror Nights with us and let everybody try them. Say, this is what the butterbeer used to taste like. No, the butter you, beer what fudge. you should do is you should take them, put them in a pot and melt them down. And, <laughs> and then, then make them look like fudge. Make them look like fudge and then start a black market butterbeer fudge at Universal and start selling them and everybody will buy yours because yours is good. Look at that peanut butter goodness. Mm. It's melting. How thick. Look at that. Can That's I eat amazing. it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It tastes like Reese's. Does it taste like the uh, ones we just tried? Mm. No. No. It tastes like chocolate. Milk chocolate. Yeah, I taste more chocolate. Yeah, more chocolate. I want milk chocolate. I don't know what. <laughs> If you like this video, please like it. If not, give us a thumbs down. And uh, if you'd like, subscribe to our channel. We're going to have a lot more videos coming very soon, including a Whether vlog like from, <laughs> including a vlog from Universal Orlando Halloween Horror Nights 26 in just three more days. Not including the two best characters. Yes. They will not be attending with us. They have to stay home and go to school. Ooh.